Who said size doesn't matter? For this photograph, it does. What am I supposed to do with this? This is like the same thing. Well, this is an improvement. Yeah, this could work. Perfect. This has quickly become one of my favorite spots in Vance and it's uh, right in the middle of the road. Now, there's no beautiful mountain in the background, but way off in the distance is a tree and it's right in the middle of the road. and. I've always loved sort of this symmetry in nature and the way that the road, uh, each lane bends around each side of the tree. It's just such beautiful framing. I first photographed this when I was here last June and then I got a chance to photograph it again in early October and there was some fresh snowfall and I thought it looked absolutely beautiful. Now today's a little bit different and so we've got some sun with some light cascading across the road and so it's always nice to photograph the same spot under different light and today's no exception. I did check the forecast and there's no fresh snowfall expected over the next couple days so unfortunately I'm not going to get some beautiful sort of tr uh, snow on the tree branches but I still think it looks absolutely beautiful. On a bit of a whim I decided to bring my 100 to 400 millimeter lens which is a behemoth both in size and weight and I haven't had a chance to pull it out just yet but this is definitely an opportunity to do that and the compression you get when you shoot at telephoto gives such a different perspective. It's not only so much about photographing something that might be further away but it totally changes the field of view and the way that the elements in the scene sort of compress against each other and so what I can do is I'll show a photo shot at maybe 35 millimeters and then something maybe around 70 or 100 and then out to 400 and you'll see how the same tree can look so different just based on your perspective and the length of the lens that you're using. So uh, because I'm in the middle of the road although it's winter so clearly it's not uh, too busy on this road as no car is driven by I think I'm going to avoid using a tripod and just handhold it and then bump my ISO just to make sure that I'm dealing with a fast enough shutter speed. It does have really good image stabilization and there's no movement in the scene which is nice so I do have a lot of things working in my favor. I'll get my lens out and uh, we'll get going and get some shots here. So one of the techniques I'm going to try doing, which is actually something I did shooting this back in October that I thought worked out pretty well, is to shoot a vertical panorama at 400 millimeters. And so it really gives you that beautiful vertical shot with detail throughout the scene, rather than, you know, maybe shooting at something equivalent to about 300 millimeters or even less and switching into a uh, vertical orientation, I can still shoot it horizontally and sort of just tilt my camera up through each shot and then I'll get significantly more resolution and detail throughout the scene. So I was just doing some test shots and uh, the light does keep sort of going in and out between some of the clouds but it looked like uh, if I go for ISO 400 at f8 and uh, I was getting a shutter speed of about 1 over 800 which is double the 400 millimeter uh, which is a good rule to start at and then combined with shutter speed I really shouldn't have anything to worry about. Now I could probably get away with ISO 200 but it's sort of daylight and so I don't think any of the noise will pick up even at ISO 400 
plus it is cold and it's winter so my hands are shaking a little bit more than usual and so it's another thing to take into account. To me this is sort of a, a unique place and I'm not sure exactly why but it sort of it holds like a special place for me. It's been great to come back here for the third time and photograph it under different conditions and yeah I mean I think I'll probably photograph this every single time I'm in the Banff area.